What is going on, guys? New York Sports up here, back at it with another New York Yankees post-game recap. As sorry if I sound a little hoarse right now. Uh, I've been yelling at the TV all night because uh, that was the worst loss of the season. That was the worst loss so far this year. I am absolutely fed up with this team right now. I'm 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 sick of this team. They have not changed from last year. No clutch players on this team. Nobody is clutch. They had so many opportunities in this ballgame to win, and they fall flat on their face as they always do. They have no, there's not one player on this team that's clutch. Aaron Judge, he, he's been clutch this year. Aaron Judge and DJ. Besides that, nobody else is clutch. Nobody else is clutch. I mean, this is a pathetic loss. Garrett Cole was on the hill today. He was phenomenal. Goes six and two thirds, gives up, what, two runs. He was phenomenal on the mound. Made, made one mistake to Choi and made one mistake to Mike Zanino. Besides that, Cole was phenomenal. Didn't want to exit the game. I, I can respect Voon for taking him out. Uh, I didn't really want him to face Meadows. I thought Cole was phenomenal on the hill tonight. I really th I thought he was fantastic. But Zach Britton, he's a complete and utter bum. Um, put in Adam Adovino. Now, I'm not a big Adam Adovino fan either. But Britton sucks. I don't care what his ERA is. Zach Britton is not a, a very trustworthy reliever. I don't know what kind of Yankee fan actually trusts Zach Britton that he can hold the lead. You, if you're, if you can't hold the lead in the major leagues, you don't deserve to be here. You don't deserve to be here. I don't understand wh what Zach Britton did today, and I heard just now on Twitter, or earlier, but before I started filming this, that Zach Britton maybe hurt his leg um, as he was walking off the field, something like that. Well, good riddance because Zach Britton was disgusting on the hill tonight. Horrible job by Zach Britton. Horrible. Uh, I, I'm gonna rip. I'm gonna rip into other players on this team in a second. I mean, Sanchez. What? What do you have? Two wild pitches in this game. He he couldn't. He couldn't block a. He he couldn't block a. a I don't. I don't even know what I'm saying. Sanchez couldn't block anything tonight. He he was disgusting. Behind the plate. Two more wild pitches. He he couldn't block nothing. Oh my. I, I mean, Gary Sanchez. I mean, seriously, man. He's not the guy I'm going to rant at the most, but he was disgraceful tonight as well. He did work a nice at-bat in the ninth inning. Of course, he didn't come, on, come around to score because he, we know this team. They're never clutch. They're never clutch. Seriously, dude. Sanchez is... I'm, I'm done. I, I'm done. DFA him. Put, we need a catcher that actually puts the ball in play. Start Eric Kratz. He could do. He could put the ball in play more than Sanchez. We gotta go out and sign someone next year. We should go after JT Ramuto. I don't know the year when. I don't know what year JT Ramuto hits free agency, but whenever he does, we need to pick him up asap. Cashman, go out and spend money and get that guy, because I'm sick of Sanchez being on this team. He's not clutch. He he wasn't the main reason why we lost, but he was he was pitiful tonight. Hitless. He goes strikes out twice. His first two at bats were disgraceful. I mean, he he's terrible. He's hitting what? What is he getting? He's getting below a 130. Like, I try to have faith in him. I try to, you know, back him up when some, some other Yankee fan talks trash about him. I try to defend him. But I can't just, I can't do it anymore. Aaron Boone. Oh, my God, Aaron Boone. Aaron Boone was horrible tonight. Sorry. Aaron Boone was horrible tonight. Completely outmanaged by Kevin Cash. Aaron Boone sucks. He's a horrible manager. He doesn't deserve to be here. Why did we fire Joe Girardi? We were a game away from the World Series in 2017. We were supposed to rebuild that year. We were a game away from the World Series in 2017. We fire him. Why the hell are we firing him there? I, just as we speak, I actually just got a, um, a notification on Twitter that Britain might, might have tweaked his hamstring. That's great. That's, that's just great. Another bullpen piece lost, and it continues to get more. It continues to get worse. We just won six straight. Against the Braves and the Red Sox, we swept a four-game series, and we play a Rays team that isn't much better than the Braves. They're not a better team than, than Atlanta, and we look crappy the first two games. The pitching was not the, the, the problem in this game. Britain was the problem. Cole gives up two runs, but he still goes six and two-thirds. He was phenomenal. Probably his best start of the season so far. Loisega does a great job. We only had to use three pitchers in this game, but Britain, just disgusting. Or... Did we have to use somebody else? I don't think so. I think we only used Britton and Loisega. Loisega does a great job. He did a really good job. Um, he got out of Britton's mess. I thought they were going to score more than four runs. I thought it would have been like eight to two after that eighth inning. I really did. I mean, 
We should call, he should be called Zatch Britain, not Zach Britain, Zatch Britain, because he can't strike out a guy to save his life. Couldn't throw a strike, every pitch was outside. I'm going to give a little bit of leeway to Sanchez because every ball was in the dirt. Couldn't throw a quality strike at all. Britain, I, I hated everything I saw from Britain tonight. I mean, Jesus. He was atrocious on the plate. That was disgusting. Loisaga, once again, I said he did a great job. He did, he, he did a great job. I mean, this bullpen is so overrated. I wish we had Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson for Tampa has dominated the Yankees in his what? He throws like 10, 10 pitches, one, two, three, he's out of the inning. Now, Chad Green has the stuff to do stuff like that. But we need a guy like Nick Anderson in this bullpen, a guy who's actually, absolutely, actually reliable, unlike Zach Britton, unlike Adovino. I don't think Adovino is very reliable, in my opinion. If Loisaga can do a better job than Britton holding a lead, Britton, that's disgusting. I don't care if he's injured. I don't care. I mean, Britton was, was the... He was the man tonight, not. He, he was disgusting. I hated everything I saw from him. We move on to Aaron Boone. I'm going to go back to Aaron Boone. It's what? It's the ninth inning. It's 4-2 to two at that point. We get the first two men on with no out. Gardner, he flies out to center. Here my makes the catch, but it, it's, it's okay. We only got one out. Two on, one out. We still have a chance to score. Mike Talkman was supposed to hit against the lefty, Jalen Beeks, who is terrible, by the way. He's not a good pitcher. And then he puts in Miguel and Duhar? Have you seen Talkman's numbers against lefties? Talkman kills lefties. Talkman's a much better player. He Talkman puts the ball in play a lot more than Andujar does. Andujar goes down in three pitches. Yeah, okay. And by the way, I don't know why the hell Andujar's still here. He should be down in AAA because he clearly can't play in the major leagues. He had one good season in 2018. After that, he's been atrocious. He's disgusting defensively. He's lazy out in the outfield. Every ball gets past him. He's terrible at third base. Has a noodle arm. Can't throw the ball over to first base. He just heaves it over there. He's disgusting defensively. He's been useless at the play this year. What is he hitting? He's hitting below 100. I don't care how many games he's played. I don't care how many at-bats he's had. He's been disgusting. I'm done with Miguel Andujar. I've lost all hope in that guy. Urshel is the starting third baseman, and that's facts. He's, he's bad. But you might have to watch him every single day. And that's the sad part, because he is terrible. I don't, I don't okay. And then, Estrada comes up. I think he takes ball one. Takes a strike, fouls it away. He's battling a little bit. Beeks throws a slider way outside. Zanino already knew it was going to be a ball, and maybe it goes past him. There actually was a pass ball while Estrada was hitting, and there was second and third to it. A base hit would have tied it. Tyro Estrada, he sees a slider, a, a terrible pitch by Jalen Beeks, he, and he knew it too. He knew it was going to be a ball. I, I saw him running to the plate to get ready to cover home, and Tyler Wade was on second. He probably would have scored. Wade's a speedster. We, he probably would have scored. I, I don't even know what to say, man. My, my voice hurts. <laughs> it really does. And then he swings. He, like, just a little, little flare, swings at it. Estrada was just, I mean, what, what a horrible at bat by Tyro Estrada and, and Miguel Andujar. They deserve to be in the minor leagues, but it sucks that we won't see them. We won't be able to see them in the minor leagues because we're at the alternate site, whatever. Because we have so many friggin' injuries. We need Judge back ASAP. We need DJ back sooner. So we need DJ back really soon. Because we can't live, it's clear we can't play, we can't win games without DJ. We wouldn't have won 100. We would have won. We wouldn't have won 25 percent of our games without DJ LeMahieu last year. He's the only reason why we win 100 games. Why we're a dominant team. We wouldn't have won the division last year if it wasn't for DJ LeMahieu. But I'm not going to use that as an excuse. The Yankees won a ton of games without Judge and without Stanton. I'm not going to use that as an excuse. They had guy. They had minor league players and they still won against the Rays. I'm not going to use that as an excuse. I'm not going to say like say a Rays fan. Does something like tells me like say tries to rub it in and I, I say we didn't have our star players. I'm not gonna say that. But I mean, my God. Estrada, have some discipline. Have some pride. I mean, that was disgusting. How, how do you wear the pin you wear a pinstripe jersey? You're you're a member of the, the greatest team in sports history, and you flare at an outside slider like that to lose us the ball game. The whole Yankees lineup should send a handheld, no, a written apology, a letter. 
to Garrett Cole. So they completely ruined his start. Thank God Garrett Cole didn't get the loss. Britain got the loss as is well deserved. I mean, I feel I feel bad for Garrett. He was awesome tonight. I mean, the offense has been disgraceful this entire. I don't care how good the race pitching is. Have some discipline. Knock the runners in. Play some small ball. I mean, gee, I mean, jeez. This team sucks with runners in scoring position in the big moment. They can't. They can't hit. They can't hit in the big moment. They there's not one player on the field who can hit in a big moment. And we're facing what? Jalen Beeks. Who the hell is that? This is the worst loss of the season by miles. The worst loss of the season. Boone was disgusting. Britain pathetic. Estrada pathetic. And Duhar pathetic. Just terrible, man. Terrible. Piss poor. Horrendous. Whatever you want to call it. Terrible. It, it, I've, it's an 11-minute video. Sorry for the long rant. I had to get this out. This was disgusting. Now we're only a half game up on the division. We got to win tomorrow. I can't believe we lost this series, man. I cannot believe we are 1-5 and five against this team. I'm, I'm not wearing that hat tonight. I'm not wearing that hat. This was one of the biggest rages I've had on the channel I've, what, since I've started it. Horrible, horrible job by the Yankees. This was completely unacceptable. Get it together. Paxton's on the hill tomorrow. I don't think Paxton's going to win it. I mean, I think the Rays sweep us tomorrow. They, uh, they probably win 11 to nothing. win tomorrow. Uh, they have a bullpen day. I think Richard starts it for Tampa. Uh, he'll, he'll go four scoreless, throw like 20 pitches. Th this team, I I'm done with them. I've really had enough. I don't care what their record is. They're just not, an they're just not a clutch team, and they've shown it for the past couple years. They're not a clutch team. I mean, I know a lot of people think that we're never going to win without Boone, with Boone as our manager. I've, I, I thought they were wrong before. Now I agree. With, we're not going to win a championship with Boone as our manager. We're not. And we're not going to win with losers like Miguel Andujar and Tyro Estrada. And Zach Britton. Britton's terrible. He, he, he was terrible tonight. I, I didn't really see this coming. I really thought we were going to win this series. Now, they did win six straight before. So I'll give, that, I'll give them a little bit of credit. They still have one of the best records in baseball. But come on. We, we can't get swept. We can't get swept. That would be embarrassing if we got swept. We have to win tomorrow at all costs. We, if we lose tomorrow, I might lose it. I might give up on the season because we have to win tomorrow. Oh, my God. So piss poor, man. So piss poor. Tomorrow, 1 o'clock game. I, I really don't want to spend three hours of my Thursday watching this game because we all know it's going to be a, a pitiful game. That, that, I feel better now, I mean, but... Well, guys, if you did not enjoy this ball game, make sure to drop a like. I appreciate it. Drop a comment. What are, you, what are your thoughts on this disgusting game? What are your thoughts on Zach Britton tonight? Miguel Land Duhar tonight? Tyro Estrada, the Yankees' plate discipline in general? What are your thoughts on Aaron Boone? This was such a winnable game. And they fell flat on their face, as they always do. Same old Yankees. Well, not, not really same old Yankees. I'm talking about the past couple years. They haven't changed. And it doesn't, I don't really think they ever, they're ever are going to change. They're always going to be an unclutched team. And they're, they're going to lose in their first round. They're not winning the world. I, I just, they just don't have what it takes. I don't think the Rays do either. I still don't think the Rays are a championship caliber team. I don't think they have what it takes either. But Twins fans, A's fans, you guys can have the championship. This, this team, they just don't have it in them. I'm sorry, but they, they're just not a very clutch team. And that's just facts. And if, if you disagree with me, I'm sorry, but... I, I don't think you're very smart because this team is just not clutch. You could win. You could slug home runs, hit, win 40 games this year, but they're not going to make it very far in the playoffs. If they face a team like Tampa, face a team like Oakland, they'll be, they'll be, they'll lose a play. They'll, they'll lose in the playoffs. The Yankees dominated the Rays last year. What, what happened? What happened? This was, this has got to be the worst loss of the year. Now, we're still, we still have, technically, we still have the best record in baseball. So I'm not going to complain about that, but Yankees do better tomorrow. I better see 
an offensive breakout tomorrow. Richards, ERA, he has an ERA over five. I better see a breakout tomorrow. I'm at 15 minutes in this video. This is probably the one of the longest, longest game reactions I've ever posted on the channel. Let's make sure to drop a like, drop a comment. What are your thoughts on the game? Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, uh, at New York Sports Hub 2. I always talk about, you know, I talk like my opinions on the game uh, as the game goes. You can check my, check, check my Twitter page um, for tonight's game. Uh, I wasn't very happy, as you could tell. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.